It is 11.49 a.m. and we are strolling into the Magic Kingdom. We... Early as <laughs> we had a late night last night. We did the Hollywood Studios after hours. And uh, so we decided to do some Genie Plusing today. We're walking in with a couple of Lightning Lanes already booked. And we are going to have ourselves a magical day at the Magic Kingdom. I got a fun fact for you too. Oh. It's possible you could be too tired to fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> that is possible, indeed. <laughs> We've actually never ridden Magic Carpets of Aladdin together, so let's go do it. And now it's time for our first lightning lane of the day. Let's get on the Jungle Cruise. This is a classic that we just love to ride every single time. Oh, we gotta book Tron soon anyway. Shall we? Ooh, looks like we are gonna swing by the Amazon rainforest to start out on our journey. Don't know if y'all know this or not, but it does rain up to 365 days a year here. I know, it's almost all of them. And I heard about this cool place up ahead. You guys want to go? Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's called Inspiration Falls. It is very mysterious, okay? I've been studying my maps, and according to my calculations, it's right there. Now, I know you're probably wondering, Skipper Allison, why would they call it Inspiration Falls? Well, I have heard that if you stare into those falls long enough, go ahead, it will inspire check it out anyone to go deeper and deeper into the jungle which is probably what we should be doing the longest river in the world some say it just goes on for miles and miles and williams and louis and harry's and <gasps> no way i was hoping we'd get to see some elephants together this is great <laughs> about it too did you know that out of all the animals in the jungle the elephant has one of the best memories isn't that neat i wish i had a memory like that i could remember anything now this of course one of my favorite spots out here in the jungle it is our beautiful sandstone formation as you can see so many cool animals hanging out it's great but some people don't know why they just take it for granted it's so sad, I know, but it is one of our bolder attractions, and honestly, I just think it rocks. Hopefully, you do too. Uh, Y'all are seeing that too? That sleeping zebra being guarded over by that family of lions. I thought, are you kidding me? That is so sweet. That is so. <laughs> Shaken to me. I, you know what? I think it loosened up a bunch of my soreness. <laughs> <laughs> this is... 
And now my favorite dark ride. Do you know what it is? I bet you do. Is this really stretching? Or is it your imagination? Mm. And consider this dismaying observation. This chamber has no windows and no doors. <laughs> which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> of course, there's always my way. And Marvel busts of the greatest ghost writers the literary world has ever known. Part that has good music, that's a plus. Alright, here we have the Grey Stuff Cupcake. I have been wanting to try this for so long. I have no idea what the Grey Stuff cupcakes, Cupcake tastes like. Looks like a cupcake. Looks like a cupcake. <laughs> Does it taste any different than real, regular icing? It's got an Oreo type flavor, like a cookies and cream. It's, it's really good. It's delightful. You should try it. Pirates is our next lightning lane. Let's go do this. Monorail view as we make our way back to the buses. All right, we're heading back to Magic Kingdom, and oh no, is it ever raining? Let's see how this goes. It is 7:22 p.m., and we are lowering the bus. 
Starting to look like we're the only ones heading in. Everyone else is flooding out. <laughs> now we're heading out to the pre fireworks dessert party, and this is our first time trying this. Here's a quick look at tonight's offerings we've got fruit and cheese, various types of dessert. Um, for the adults, there's some alcohol, and it's all included in the flat price. little pog juice mimosa happening there. What do I got? Push pop. No. <laughs> Alright, so their party was just whatever. Now we're doing buzz. I don't even know if you can hear me right now. How did you do? So, so. I, this game is disorienting. It is. It's hard to tell. Which one's yours? Oh, it's Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. since we've been in the park we've done the dessert party which we had booked prior to coming down here on vacation um what were your thoughts on it uh it, it you know what if you really like sweets and stuff you'll probably really like it the one thing i would say is the quality of the sweets like they're not decadent or something outside of this world or Decadent is not, they're definitely decadent, <laughs> but they're not something outside of this world. They're pretty kind of normal desserts. Yeah. Uh, the chocolate chip cookies, I was pretty surprised because they were not very good actually. And you would have thought like Disney would have had like a top tier one for a dessert party. Yeah. All in all, um, it's unfortunate to say, I think it's a bit of a money grab because we couldn't even, after you eat just a few, you're just like, my body physically just can't keep eating this. and. If that's just us, I don't know, but yeah. it's, it's for a hundred bucks per person. It's also raining and lightning, and I don't think we're actually even gonna get our spot for uh, the fire. I don't even know if the fireworks will happen, so, you know, if you, if you drink a bunch of alcohol while you're there, you'll make it worthwhile. But uh, overall, I, I would say we would do I would I wouldn't do it again either, and I am a sweets person, but it just wasn't... It wasn't good stuff, it was just yeah. normal. They had it. They did have the the gray stuff. So we that was the out, best one. We figured out today that that's actually just like a cookies and cream sort of cream, and so they call it a cookies and cream pudding. Yeah. But it's just gray stuff with some how like some crunchy bits on it. Uh, so yeah, it, that was that was all right. But you can't just sit there and keep eating icing essentially. <laughs> so then what we did was we modified one of our previously booked lightning lanes to uh, Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, um, which was really fun. We were able to do it right away. And now we are Tron just about just at the time for our boarding group for Tron. So uh, let's do this again. And let's hopefully not leave anything in the locker this time. Yes. Take care. All right, Tron take two. Super fun. Loved it in the dark. I didn't have my glasses strap on this time because I left it in my sunglasses case, which I didn't bring. Um, so it was kind of blurry, but really cool to see the canopy all lit up. Um, epic failures tonight all around. Epic failure because they actually set the fireworks off early. Um, because of the rain, I guess, they looked for the clear time. So fireworks went off while we were standing in line which means we missed our super awesome spot 
from the dessert party. So that sucked. It's our fault. Yep, it's our fault. Um, don't get into line if you have dessert party spots. The, the virtual queue takes still way too long. Yeah. So if you have a Magic Band Plus and the Disney Play app, you can collect all the golden statues as little virtual avatars. We're obsessed. Did you get it? Minnie is being so stubborn tonight. It's like she doesn't want to come home with me. What's up with that? Finally found Tinkerbell. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. There's a light rain, and we're walking out with corn dog nuggets and a mint julep. What a wonderful night. Wave goodbye. <laughs> We already have that one. <laughs> it's working. 